Rapid Deployment requires combination of pre-integrated cloud native solutions and of course automation. Nokia offers pre-validated modular solution that simplify integration and reduce deployment time. Our cloud native architectures allow for flexible scaling and deployment across multiple cloud environments. Automation tools streamline the entire process from planning and provisioning to ongoing management and optimization. This approach minimizes manual intervention and accelerates time to market. It really comes down to collaboration. So rapidly deploying infrastructure means tightly collaborating with the network equipment providers. And that's what we think about at HPE, the partnerships that we have with Ericsson, Nokia, Samsung, Mavenir, NEC. We work inside of their labs collaboratively, as well as in the HP labs to enable software applications uh, and certify them. In addition, at the end of that, we can provide blueprints uh, to our telco operators to take advantage of an easier deployment, rapid deployment ability based on the architecture that we would, we would have developed. Another enabler for this is virtualization and really containerization or cloud native, uh, moving to a cloud native architecture using containers. And I think that's really um, a push that's enabling the industry to move uh, quicker. And then finally, open standards. And I think about that with OpenRAN, where we're now moving into the cell sites with an x86 or industry standard server uh, from HPE that can run uh, RAN workloads that used to be in an appliance. So those are the things uh, we're working on in a collaborative way with our partners to be able to rapidly deploy edge to core workloads. I think there's a couple of issues uh, buried in rapid deployment of infrastructure. The first is the idea of cloudification and continuous deployment. The second one is really around cross-domain orchestration and exposing capabilities, even if it's as technical as radio capabilities or as non-technical as some kind of indus industry application as a service's resources that they can orchestrate. So what you really want to have is capabilities in the core, capabilities at the edge, capabilities throughout the network, and even logical capabilities in data centers that you can string together with cross-domain orchestration. This is very different from pre-thinking through an end-to-end -end service and building a single silo. It means de-siloing your entire infrastructure so that you have effectively a bundle of Legos. Today when I meet with uh, top telcos, what I observe is they have app developers, network engineers, and others in siloed organizations. Um, if you want to move quickly to deploy these cloud-based networks, the important thing is that telcos and their partners move into one single entity. Um, that includes the application developers, the network engineers, and even, even purchasing. Purchasing should be looking at um, performance per watt per dollar and TCO. Uh, instead of unit cost. And so really what they should do is emulate what the tier one cloud service providers do, which is pick a uniform technology, a single technology, perhaps an AMD based CPU that is optimized for, uh, for the cloud, for a virtualized environment, go big and deploy that across your network.